We've been interested in Fragile X for a number of years. Um, it's a disease where I feel we have uh, perhaps uh, one of the greatest chances of actually making impact. This project focuses on a specific uh, protein called the Sigma-1 receptor. It's a very interesting protein. Uh, it's involved in really a diverse set of cellular uh, functions. And so with the advent of human pluripotent stem cells, essentially we could really um, induce them or coax them to be, to be whatever we want them to be. Um, and so this is what we initially uh, spent a lot of effort on, is actually developing a well-controlled, uh, well-defined model of Fragile X. It's been shown to affect a lot of different pathways that are disrupted in Fragile X. This is kind of uh, what we focused on over the past um, five to six years, I would say. And now that we have uh, these well-controlled models and we have an idea of the changes that uh, the loss of fMRP um, uh, does to these cells, we're now moving forward with our ultimate goal of actually trying to find a way to treat and to prevent these changes from taking place. I think we're really at an, a very exciting time in Fragile X research. Um, you know, both the wealth of knowledge that we've uh, accumulated over the past 20 plus years, and also really the technological breakthroughs that we've had in drug discovery, in genetic studies, in stem cell studies, are really allowing us to do things that we couldn't uh, even dream about, uh, you know, 10, five or 10 years ago. Within the next five years, uh, I expect that we'll have uh, major breakthroughs in uh, Fragile X research, uh, you know, uh, work um, uh, being done with human organoids or mini brains, um, some of uh, these genetic screen that can be done with CRISPR, and also really gene therapy um, uh, developments and approaches. All of these really are um, uh, setting us on a course where uh, we should uh, have breakthroughs that bring us closer to a cure. FRAX has really been a great organization uh, to work with um, on, on many levels. You know, if it wasn't really for FRAX's initial funding of a proposal that we submitted, we wouldn't be really as involved potentially um, in the Fragile X. It's also been great because uh, really we've met, uh, you know, some of our closest collaborators are other FRAX uh, grantees. Uh, we all attend uh, the same kind of events that are either organized or supported or sponsored by FRAXA. It gives us really a forum to exchange ideas, to come up to date on, on uh, you know, what, what each of us is doing and ways for us to synergize. In general, you know, FRAXA has been very active in raising awareness about Fragile X. And I think this is all very helpful in uh, really making sure that uh, Fragile X and the quest for a cure uh, stays front and center.